I'm Cara and welcome to this yoga class to make you feel more revived and just a little bit more you. So when you're ready, come to the back of your mat. We're going to start in child's pose, but with wide knees. So knees come nice and wide. You sit back on your heels and then bring the arms forward, forehead resting down to the ground. You just feel the hips heavy hanging back. Bring your attention to your breath. Nice deep inhales and exhales through your nose. And then on your next inhale, lift up to all fours, bring the knees back in line with the hips. And then allow the head to just start to move around nice and freely, just moving it any way that feels good for you, that feels intuitive. Then we're going to slowly bring that movement into the shoulders. Again, maybe bend the elbows, just doing what feels good in this moment. And then feeling the spine snake to bring the movement into the hips as well. And then we'll focus in on the hips for a moment. Maybe circle them, maybe move back and forth. And then just moving the whole body in any way that feels good. Don't worry what it looks like. It might feel a little bit silly, but just going with how it feels for your body. Trying to be out of your mind, out of your head, and coming into your body. And then back to center. We'll extend the left leg back behind you, toes tucked under, push back through the heel. And holding there, trying to find a stretch, maybe on the back of the calf, maybe on the back of the leg. You can push the ground away round the upper back and then release back. With the right foot, it comes slightly to the edge of the mat. Left foot grounds down, left arm lifts high to the sky, then up and over. And we're taking a few big circles with this left arm. And then bring the left arm down, left knee comes in, right leg extends back, again toes tuck under, push back through the heel, push the ground away round the upper back, finding that stretch on the back of the leg. And again easing out of it, left foot comes to the side, right foot grounds down, right arm lifts up high. And then making those big circles around. Good, next time the hand comes down, coming back through center. Allow the shoulders to move side to side. And then we'll tuck your toes, come to downward facing dog. So you're looking for this nice upside down V shape, nice little bend in the knees, hips up high, straighten the legs if you can without rounding the lower back. But if you know that you're tight in the hamstrings or you feel that lower back rounding, have a little bend in the knees. And then we're going to walk on the spot and pedal the legs out. Then on your next inhale, left leg lifts high. Exhale, left foot forward between your hands, helping it forward if it needs some help, till you find the ankle beneath the knee. Lower the back knee down, release the back toes, left hand behind the lower back, right arm scooping forward and up to the sky, coming into as much of a back bend as feels good for you. Good, slowly back to center, but we'll stay up high. Hands come together, inhale, lengthen, 
Exhale, twist around to the left, maybe bring elbow against the knee if you can find it. If you can't, then forearm against the knee works perfectly as well. And release back through center. We're going to bring the fingertips down, tuck the back toes, straighten the back leg, and then just lightly swap the legs over to go for exactly the same. The other side, lower the back knee, release the back toes, right hand behind the lower back, left arm reaching up and back to the sky, as much of a back bend as feels good. But think about the lower ribs still drawing in, so we're not completely losing it, but still keeping the front of the body slightly engaged. And then back to center again, palms can come together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the right. Maybe the forearm finds the knee, maybe the elbow finds the knee, allowing the upper body to twist. And then slow to come back through center. Fingertips come around the front foot. Knees slide back. Again, we'll go to that wide knee child's pose that we started in. But this time you want to lean to the left hand side. You can always bring the left forearm down to rest your forehead on. But it's that right arm that's really reaching over to the left. Seeing if you can find a stretch on the right hand side of your body. On your next inhale, lifting up and swapping over. Leaning to the right, finding a stretch on the left hand side of the body and allowing the body to relax there. We're going to come back through center, cross one hand over the other, rest the forehead, and take a few final deep breaths in your child's pose, wide knee child's pose. Feeling that breath move right the way throughout your body. And then coming up sitting. Good. Bring the hands together. Once you're at a comfortable seated position, give the palms a rub, create a little heat between them and then bring those hands to your shoulders, to your neck, down your arms, wherever needs a little bit of attention, maybe even down the legs. Good. Well done.